For years, her gift of clairvoyance and knowledge of mystical realms has been used by world leaders and celebrities seeking control of their destinies. Now, she's sharing her special powers with you at Dr. Avalon Devine's Center of Parapsychological Studies. Enroll today and tip the scales of fate in your favor. Dr. Avalon Devine started her center to teach anyone how to tap into their repressed psychic potential. You too can control interdimensional forces. Hone your powers in a wide range of psychic specialties like telepathy, numerology, teleportation, and more. Dr. Avalon Devine is a certified parapsychologist and inventor of the patented neuroelectrical thought transducer. So don't delay. Stop by today to start your journey to becoming a master psychic. And don't forget to follow me on twitter.com at Avalon Devine to request your free psychic tweeting. Hashtag Avalon Devine. astrologer and certified parapsychologist. Now, are you ready to delve into the mystical and fascinating world of inner self? Awaken your mind's eye. Okie dokie. Super. Well, uh, can I get you anything? Some water? Some pop? Oh, are you sure? Nothing at all? I sensed you'd say that, but, you know, courtesy. Mm. Good pop. Now, I've got your new enrollment form here that you submitted via our website. So let's just take a look-see. Okay, uh, clairvoyance. And history and acquired. Um, oh, uh, telekinesis. Okay. So, you're interested in focusing on the areas of telepathy and psychokinesis with an emphasis in levitation, correct? Okie dokie, well, you've certainly come to the right place. The Avalon Divine Center of Parapsychological Studies offers an ever-growing list of courses and psychic services. Okay. Now, before we start, there's something you need to understand. Most of your mind has been, well, dormant or asleep for the duration of your current life. So your goals, although very realistic, aren't as simple as just frying up a batch of cheese curds. Okay? So today's introduction is going to serve as a way of, well, a poking your inner, inner self with a stick. We'll stir things up a little bit, but as soon as you leave the center, it'll go back to sleep again soon enough, which is why patience and consistency are key. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sign you up for a 10-class bundle to start. 
and for the first semester we'll primarily focus on uh, getting you comfortable again using the extrasensory perception that you haven't exercised since your cosmic form. And then we'll evaluate your progress and adjust accordingly. Okie dokie. Now, like I said, developing these abilities requires time, but with enough determination, you can reach the upper echelons of our program and have your graduation portrait on these very walls, like this star pupil. <laughs> now, do you have any more questions for me? Okay, so you're ready to begin your introductory class? Okie dokie. Now, uh, I'm just going to need you to sign your name on this form, uh, waiving all possible liability. I really don't foresee there being any problems, which is a good sign. I'm a psychic, don't you know? Okay, so I just am going to need you to sign right there. Okay, and right there. Okay, and there. Okie dokie. Perfect. Okay, super. Well, let's get started. Now, this my patented invention, the Neuroelectrical Thought Transducer. So let's go ahead and turn this baby on. Uh, now, because your extra senses are underdeveloped, this device serves as a sort of uh, training wheels for telepathy. I'll go ahead and strap this on ya. Okay, I'm just gonna come right around behind you now. Just hold still for me. Okay, now I'm just gonna slide this on right over your ears. Just the chin strap, real quick. Okay. You just let me know if it gets too tight, okay? And just lift your chin up for me. Okay, good. So, the science behind this thing is that it generates what's known as a, a torsion field. How does that feel? Comfy? Good, good, super. Let me just ensure that the device is making proper contact with all the necessary points of your noggin. just a form of energy, the torsion field takes that energy and transduces it into a neuroelectrical signal, which then gets relayed to your frontal lobes and recognized as speech. My speech. Everything looks 
nice and snug back here. But you want to know the best feature of this thing? It works. Now, the first thing I want to do is a little breathing exercise to help you get into a nice, relaxed state. Basically, just help clear your mental palate. I'll continue communicating with you telepathically via the thought transducer and reciting some positive affirmations to help ease open your consciousness and begin awakening your psychic Taking a few deep breaths, breathing in, and out. And again, breathing in. Do one more. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Okay. Very good. Now let your breathing return to normal. And just simply attention to your breaths. Notice the sensation of air filling your lungs and feel the air leaving your lungs. Notice the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe in and out. Feel the positive energy being renewed with each inhale and feel the tension being filtered out of your body with each exhale. Okay. Very good. I'm going to begin speaking now to your subconscious. I'm also going to move in closer and transmit some positive energy using my hands. Just continue to breathe normally. You have great telepathic potential. Powers of telepathy are increasing. Your thoughts are powerful. You are powerful. You easily understand others. Your intuition is strong. Your powers of Telepathy are increasing. You embrace your psychic gifts. You embrace your inner intuition. Your thoughts are powerful. You understand others. Your powers of telepathy are increasing. You are powerful. You easily understand others. 
Your intuition is strong. Your powers of telepathy are increasing. You easily understand others. You easily understand others. You easily understand You are powerful. You are powerful. Your intuition is you easily understand others. You are powerful. You are powerful. You are powerful. You are powerful. Your intuition is you easily understand others. You are powerful. Your intuition. See what the problem is. Easily understand. Get those off. Let me just see what's going on here. Okay. Never happened before. What? Headphones. No, oh, no dear, these aren't headphones. I, I see the similarity too, but no, no, I assure you, I was communicating with you strictly by way of 100% genuine telepathy. No, these aren't headphones. It's, um, oh, uh, sacred geometry. Yeah. Yeah, well, you see, the, uh, the art shape aids in the uh, transducing process of your uh, kinetic energy, psychokinetic energy. Okay, so, yeah. Well, heavens me, I'm probably boring you to death with all this uh, technical mumbo jumbo. So let's just move on to uh, telekinesis, shall we? Okay, now. Alright, so um, for this next segment of your lesson, I just want to start uh, the same way that we began last time. Okay, so we're just going to do a, a nice cleansing breathing exercise to uh, cleanse your mind. So let's begin by taking a few Deep breaths, okay? So inhale and exhale. Good. And inhale and exhale. Okay, good. And one more. feels good, doesn't it? Okay, now just uh, let your breathing return back to normal. But as you breathe, uh, just pay attention to your breaths. Uh, notice the sensation of air filling your lungs. And notice how it feels as the air leaves your lungs. Good. Feel the uh, rise and fall of your belly as you inhale and exhale. Good. Notice how the positive energy Fills your body with each inhale and notice the feeling of tension being filtered out of your body with each exhale. Okay, good. Now just continue breathing normally. And as you continue breathing, I want you to visualize for a moment the systems of our universe. Okay? Just think about 
our universe and all its parts. Visualize all of these spiraling galaxies, planets, moons, stars, black holes, solar systems. Our universe is vast. Even just counting the celestial bodies that make up our galaxy alone would fill millions of lifetimes. You take that and multiply it by a number I can't even comprehend and then you might be somewhere in the ballpark of our known universe. Known being the key word. So visualize that for a moment. And then consider the idea that the system isn't a system at all. It isn't actually separate. It's all the same. All connected. All one. And the only thing making it seem otherwise is an illusion that is being perpetuated by your thoughts. Consider this idea for now. But when you understand it, you'll be able to move this can of pop with your mind. patience and determination, you'll be able to do that as well. Not to mention you'll be a real hoot at parties. Now that will all come in time, of course. So for now, you just want to focus on understanding this can of pop. You are the pop.
right about now you should be experiencing a kind of euphoric tingling sensation that is the feeling of you bonding with the forgotten your oneness with the universe and that feeling is you starting to remember enough for now. Baby steps. Yes, you keep attending classes and you'll be mind moving all sorts of things before you know it. You betcha. Ooh. Sounds like there's one sip left. Oh well, we're crying out loud. Would you look at that? Well, there must be some uh, residual uh, psychokinetic energy left on the can. You know, you're uh, you're witnessing a rare occurrence. This uh, doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's something special. Okie dokie. Let's just put this down here for now. Alrighty, so our third and final lesson of the day, levitation. So you want to make things float, do ya? Well, the basic principles of levitation are the same as telekinesis with the added obstacle of gravity. But you'll soon learn that, like everything else, gravity is just an illusion. Let's get started. And same as before, we are going to start with a nice cleansing breathing exercise. Okay. So let's get nice and relaxed. And we'll begin by taking a deep breath in. And out. And inhale. And exhale. Super. Let's do one more. Breathe in. And out. Okay. Now just let your breathing return to normal again. As always, just pay attention to how your breath ebbs and flows. Notice the sensation of the oxygen filling your lungs and leaving your lungs. Just 
pay attention to that. Good. Feel your belly rise and fall with each breath. Feel the positive energy being renewed with each inhale and feel the tension just slip away as you exhale. Good. Now just keep breathing just like that. Normally. And just pay attention as you breathe. Working against an illusion as strong as gravity, it's usually best to start with something that has a lot of space in between the molecules that make it up. Something light, like a matchstick or a matchbox. Now, uh, before we get started, I hope you don't mind if I light some of my cranberry mandarin candles. They just smell so delicious. Okay, thanks. Cranberry Mandarin is my favorite. Okay. There's one. So like before, just consider the idea that this matchbox and you are in We are not in a room right now. In fact, there is no we at all. Everything you are perceiving is one.
you should be feeling that banded sensation again. With enough practice, that feeling will become permanent. And then, moving anything with your mind will be as effortless as moving a part of your own body. And that also applies to levitation. Allow me to Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there you have it. string? Where? Oh. Oh, no, no, dear. Oh, no. Uh, that's not a string. That's a, um, a, an energy tail. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you betcha. An energy tail. Uh, that's a, uh, a physical manifestation of psychic energy um, connecting with the physical world. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, alrighty. Well, that's enough for today. Uh, okay. Up, up, and away. Matchbox. Okay. <clears throat> alrighty. So, uh, that concludes our, uh, our introductory class. As you can see, the psychic world is a very, very real thing. And I'll expect to see you back next week. Uh, now, be gone. favorite thing about him uh, is his little eyes. That's the only feature that he was given. Facial feature, that is. I think they're really